Hello everybody, it's Mel. Thank you so much for joining me today for a, a bit of a different reading vlog. So first things first, you may notice that I am not in my usual house. I'm in fact at the hairdressers. So apologies if this is what's going on in the background. Um, but I'm at the hairdressers, I'm about to get my hair done. And I always bring a book with me because, you know, we're sat for like a good few hours with nothing much to do while we're getting our hair done. So, I actually, the other day, um, at school, on Friday, we have library. And I, so obviously the whole class, we went to the library, and I said to a couple of girls, what should Miss Sadler read? Kind of as a joke, but they got super excited about choosing new books, and they chose about four or five books that they thought I should read. And I said, my TBR pile is way too big. I need to only pick two of these books. So I got them all to vote. And the two books that they chose were um, Very Angel's Suitcase by Glinda Millen and Tomorrow, one of Tomorrow Pierce's books, The Circle Opens. Uh, magic Steps. So this is the first book in the Circle Opens Quartet. I think I'm going to start this one today. Um, I reckon I'll read a fair bit of it. Um, I promised the kids that I would let them know what I thought of them when I was back at school, which was Wednesday. Of course I picked the week of Because We Can Read a Thon to decide this and also I'm still trying to finish what book am I trying to finish? <laughs> um, the Silence of the Girls by Pat Barker for the vlog on Jeremy's page, but that's okay. We'll just see how we go. I can always just tell the kids that I will finish it by Friday and let them know on Friday. It's end of term, so they will want to know what's going on by the end of term. But anyway, um, so yes, I'm gonna read this one. Uh, it is a middle grade fantasy, that's about all I know. I do also know that Bethany from Beautifully Bookish Bethany is currently doing read along of one of tomorrow's pieces series. I don't know if it's this one. I have to double check. I'm not 100% sure. But if it is this one, then potentially I will join it. I haven't been joining it because I was kind of like, oh, too many series. But now that the kids want me to read it, it kind of works out. But anyway, that's what I'm doing. thought I would say hello, let you know the plan, and I will jump in and let you know how I'm going with it as we go along. But yeah, when you next see me, I will potentially, depending on how I'm going, be in the middle of getting my hair done or be done and it'll be a new hair. Not that new, but you know, nice and pretty done. Uh, but yeah. So, hello, hello. Um, so I'm batch filming, which is why we are in the filming spot and the makeup is on this time. I'm about halfway through the Tomorrow Pierce book. I kind of for life for me to remember what these books are called. Circle of Magic 1. Don't know what the actual book is called. But anyway, I'm halfway through. I'm enjoying it. It's very easy to read, which is not surprising given it's middle grade. It seems like it's gonna be a lot of fun. And yeah, I it's the next day. I read half of it yesterday when I was getting my hair done. Um I'm reading I'm gonna read some more now. And hopefully I will have finished by this evening so that I can potentially start the other one because I want to actually show the kids this video. So, if I've managed to do so, hi kids! <laughs> but yeah, we'll see how we get on. But I definitely should be able to finish it. It took me like two hours to read half yesterday, so I'd say take me a couple of hours to read the other half, and it is currently half past 12, so heaps time to do that. But let's see how we go. Anyway, just thought I would fill you in and yeah, I'll touch base with you when I finish the book. Hello, I'm just walking home from school and I realised that yesterday when I finished the Tomorrow Pierce book that I had totally forgotten to actually say that. <laughs> so yesterday I finished the Tomorrow Pierce book um, which I cannot for the life of me remember what it's called. But I finished it, I enjoyed it. I thought it was really, really well written, really solid, really fun, definitely great for, I think that it is aimed at sort of 10, 11 year olds, but that it is written about, well, one of the characters is 12, I think, um, but the main character is 16. 
Who is she a bit older than that? A bit younger than that. Around that age. But it's definitely written for a younger audience. Um, yeah, I like I said, I just thought it was really fun. It was very fast-paced, very easy to read, and definitely solid. So I enjoyed that one. I'm glad that I read it. And I, yeah, <laughs> I don't really have much else to say about it. So it's Wednesday afternoon. Like I said, I'm just on the way home from work. And my plan tonight is I will probably try and sit down and read some of the other book that I borrowed. Um, I'd like to return them by the end of term to school because it's doing the term, so that's Friday. So, yeah, I would like to get that one read by tomorrow afternoon. Anyway, I'm just about home, so I will talk to you guys later. Hello. Bye. It is Thursday afternoon, and I just finished my second book. This is Perry Angel's Suitcase by Glenda Millard and illustrated by Stephen Michael King. This is a really short book for younger readers. I really enjoyed this one. At first I was kind of like, eh, you know, it's fine. It's a book for kids. It's fine. But this was really moving. This actually made me cry. It's about a little boy called Perry Angel and he is a foster child and he comes to live with a family, he gets sent to live with a family called the Silks and they have many, many children and he just, he's had a lot of trauma in his life, he's had a lot of difficulty with passing between different foster families and he's going through a lot and it's about him finding his place um, with the Silks and the way that the Silks accept him and care for him and it honestly, it's making me cry thinking about it, it is really moving and really lovely. I highly recommend this book. In general, like I actually think it's very easy to read. I mean, I'm an adult, obviously. This is for eight, nine, ten year olds, but it's very easy to read. So you'd be done in seconds. <laughs> Took me about an hour to read all up, and I'm not the quickest of readers. But for younger children, I think that it's just beautiful. It really makes you think about finding your place in the world, but also just being grateful for what you have. It's beautifully written. It's really beautiful imagery. It's not heavy-handed at all. It um, talks about what this child has gone through in really um, quiet way. It's not, um, yeah, it's not heavy-handed. It doesn't really tell you what's happened until the end, um, and it still doesn't tell you all the experiences he's, he's had, but it just gives you an idea that, you know, he's had a lot happened in his life and he's been through a lot and he's he's struggling and how the family just quietly and calmly help him to find his place. And I just thought it was really lovely and really beautiful and I'm really glad the kids got me to read it and I highly re recommend um, in general, but particularly if you have younger children, I think they get a lot out of it. And I think it's a really great book for learning how to be a friend, how to care for people. So, yeah. But, yeah, that's the vlog. Um, I'm planning on showing my class tomorrow. I've said a couple of times, if my kids are seeing it. Um, so, guys, thanks for picking some books for me. I had a good time. I enjoyed making this video. Um... Yeah, and I'm looking forward to showing this to you tomorrow. For everyone else, <laughs> thanks so much for joining me today. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any comments, then please leave them down below. If you'd like to leave me a comment but you don't know what, then leave me the suitcase emoji because we are Perry. We have just read Perry Angel's suitcase. All of my social media details are listed in the description below. So if you'd like to go and follow me on any of those other platforms, please feel free to do so. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, like I said, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.